Does it matter which sock goes on first? Well, yeah, especially if there's no outs and you got money on the White Sox going against the Red Sox. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone. Five Farley here. It is August 31st, last day of the month. Sorry for the cheesy dad jokes. I am a dad, and I do have a couple <laughs> cheesy jokes to throw out there. But uh, 31st of August is the last day of the month. I have been pushing to get to $2,000 made at $100 bets, and I'm a few hundred away from that. And today's the kind of day where I can break that uh, with a good day. Uh, we'll be able to break 2000 um, just in the month of August, all profit. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, follow my picks today. I'll be throwing them down in the comments. I got two picks for you here uh, in this video, and I will be getting to those in just one second. First, let me say thank you to the subscribers. I appreciate it. Welcome to the new subscribers. Second, uh, I am throwing up another video about the data that I use and how I use it, which is really, really important. Um, I want to share that with everyone. I've been getting that question a handful of times, and uh, I think it would be a great uh, value to you, a good tool for you. So check out that video, um, Five Farley, uh, how to use data in baseball betting. Um, so that'll be out there as well. Check it out. Um, and then we got college football and NFL coming up too. I'll be putting videos out on that as that season approaches. Uh, so you can check those out as well. A lot going on. Um, all right. So let me get to today's day or today's games. We have got a fantastic slate, some really, really good games, um, some games I'm really excited about, games I'm looking forward to, where the line's going to go on them. I'm going to just tell you right now, Boston, Chicago, not going to be one of my games at this point. I do like Kopech. You guys know that if you've been watching my picks. I like Kopech a lot. Good young prospect. Um, and and Eovaldi, worth fading. He's been getting pounded. Chicago White Sox, double machine, best in baseball. So... There's a lot to like on the Chicago side, and we're getting good value at, at it right now. However, sharp money's coming in. Well, I shouldn't say sharp money. Money has been coming in over on the Boston side. The line's moving up just a smidge towards Boston. I want to see how it goes overnight, and I'll report back in the morning. Check out the comments down below if I'm going to make that one of my picks or not. So a little bit more research to be done there before it ends up being one of my big picks. All right? So um, <clears throat> I have... Two picks, one I'm going to dig into a little bit more than the other, so let me get right into that one. We're looking at Colorado, San Diego, Padres. Padres, I know what you're thinking. Boy, I hope you're not taking Brett Kennedy. That guy's 0-2, and he's got like a 7.5 ADRA. I am. I am, and I'll tell you why. So Padres are hitting the ball well, all right? So I'll start with that. they got eight home runs in the last seven days. Um, you know, they're... They got their slugging percentage, I think, is a 429 slugging percentage over the last seven days. Nope, 424 over the last seven days. Um, but Brett Kennedy is worth backing, and he's been getting sharp money since he's been the bigs. He's had four starts, and he has been shelled. He's gotten 31 hits against him and 19 uh, innings pitched. But this year in AAA, he hasn't had a single loss. He's 10-0. and He's a good pitcher. He has a 2.72 ERA in AAA in 16 starts, 89 innings, only 77 hits, a 1.12 whip. Um, the guy's a quality starter. The year before in AA, he had a 3.7 ERA. He was 13 and 7. I mean, a solid starter. There's far more pitchers pitching in the big leagues that we back week in, week out that have worse numbers than this. So, um, you know, I believe in redacting to the mean that eventually the numbers will prevail. And here I'm seeing a very quality pitcher who's getting good value at home and he's worth backing uh, against the Rockies. The other thing going against, um, well, going against the Padres is going to be Sensatella. So Sensatella, uh, not the best pitcher on the Rockies staff by far. Um, yesterday I had Marquez, which, by the way, ended up being a loss. It was... Really the right side, but Lauer was on fire. Just a great outing by Eric Lauer. Um, so that held the Rockies uh, hitters at bay. Um, let's see if it happens again, because I'm on the other side with San Diego. Um, but Sensatella, 5.87 ERA over the last 30 days. Opponents hitting 313 against him. Uh, 546 ERA on the road this year. He's only 1-3. Um, you know, just a lot of things going against Sensatella. Not a lot to get excited about against San Diego this year. A 614 ERA. Uh, they hit 333 against him, seven and a third innings, 11 hits given up. Um, so I'm going with San Diego on that side, and I'm going with Brett Kennedy as well. So we're going to get a little bit of value. It's at plus 110 right now. 
Um, it's the night before, so by morning, see what you get as far as a line goes. Uh, let me get to the other game I got for you as well. <clears throat> and again, reminder, check the comments down below on uh, any other picks that I have uh, throughout the day, because there will be more. Um, this is, like I said, a really good day. I think we're going to have a couple plays uh, throughout the day, so be sure to check back. All right, <clears throat> the other game I got for you, Minnesota, Texas. So this is, I, I don't want to say a no-brainer because that's insulting. So was Colorado yesterday, right? San Diego ended up winning that one. Um, but we got uh, we have two young pitchers here, uh, Gonzalez going against Hutchinson, who uh, are combined to have a 20 plus ERA, and they're pitching in the stadium that gives up more runs than any other stadium in baseball. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Um, there's not a whole lot here. There's not a lot of motivation uh, on this side. The only thing working against this over. Is uh, is that neither one of these teams, Twins or Rangers, are hitting the ball very well right now? Uh, they're both both in the bottom third in baseball as far as uh, run production goes and uh, batting average goes here in the last seven days. But you know what solves that real quick? Playing at Globe Life Field in Arlington um, and going against a pitcher with an 11.37 ERA. I look for the Rangers to smash Gonzalez. Um, and then Hutchinson will probably give up, uh, you know, half a dozen runs as well. I don't think this is going to be close to the 11. I'm going over, over 11 with uh, Twins Rangers. And then also give me the San Diego Padres at home at a plus 110 dog. Check out my other picks down below and check out my other videos. All right. Good luck, everyone. I'll see you again soon.